here is how strong those neodymium magnets are. It is very difficult to separate these two. Uh, it's possible because I am very, very strong man, but it's difficult. Hi friends, here is your strongman Denny. And our five hacks are about neodymium magnets. Very strong, very helpful in bike servicing. The first two are all about the shakes, shaking your chain and bearing balls. The first hack will speed up your work and the second one will extend the life of your chain and also will be very eco-friendly. The quicklings jump into the degreaser. Oh, how dirty this chain is. It happens quite often with the e-bikes because you cannot spin your chain backwards on many or most of the e-bikes and so we sometimes neglect cleaning and lubing those. By the way, you will see what will come off the chain and how the magnets will help us to get rid of it. Open the jar, open the jar. Now we'll take out a clean, wonderful chain ready to absorb some new, beautiful and clear loop. But how do you get with your hands to those quick links or small bearing balls or any other tiny objects? Easy peasy. The neodymium magnet will do it for you easily. Do you remember last time when I was detailing the old XT rear derailleur? I had not used the magnet then because the degreaser looked pretty clear to me. But the little circlip for the rear derailleur pivot was lost with the old rack. And trying to find it in the trash was not successful. Hack number two, still about shaking the chain and some metal objects. Do you see me cleaning this magnet and not being able to remove these particles off it? This is not a simple dirt, because look when I'm just keeping it on my finger, the magnet will take it back. So these are the metal shavings, the small metal particles, meaning that's what's left from your chain. This is why the chain becomes longer and longer with wear. And as you've probably guessed it already, the magnet will help you get rid of all those metal particles. Let's say you're gonna shake a couple of uh, chains uh, in a row, so you don't have time for the degreaser to stand still for 24 hours, or you do the hubs and different, different parts, then do this. Here are two versions. Version number one, keep the magnet and pour the degreaser through it. It will keep, it will filter your degreaser because it will keep all those metal shavings. Easy. The second version is put the magnet on some long object and simply steer the degreaser. It will take all of those uh, shavings and believe me there were lots of those shavings after just one shaking of my e-bike chain. This is just what's left of it. After about 24 hours you're getting a clean degreaser with some non-metallic particles here at the bottom so you can use that clean degreaser from the above and I'm reusing it for five, six, seven times. Very eco-friendly. Let's turn, turn to, to the witchcraft, witchcraft of the modern bicycles. The internal cable routing. How much I love it. Cable guide, cable guide trick. Example, this braking cable has to go in right here and it has to go out right here straight to the housing of your rear brake. And now, this is my cable. This is how it looks like. Stock one. If you buy a new one, it could be a little bit nicer than this one, but you need to guide it through this top tube. So you can, of course, you can position the frame so that the gravity will help you with the cable. And maybe after 5, 10, 15 minutes, you will get it. But you can also use just a strong magnet. First off, I'm gonna remove this plug so that the cable will go out easier. So I just taped the magnet here 
and I was see I was trying to spin the cable like that just because the cable was so much bent otherwise great great hack the job is done but no no our magnet isn't going to rest yet we have the trick number four which is the pick and the magnet if you need to remove for example ball bearings from the bearings using the magnet itself isn't very handy if you don't want to just shake them off the hub because you don't know how many balls are on the left side on the right side do this you can also buy a very expensive pick which is already magnetic but this hack is so handy and it will take lots of balls it's very strong and if you're looking for the quickest, easiest, cleanest way to put the Cadence sensor magnet on your crank arm, that's it, no zip ties, no nothing, easy. I've done thousands of miles with such system, it's solid, it's proven. And here is the mastery of Cadence sensor assembly. Oh shoot, you are not supposed to see this. See you soon guys! But remember to keep your magnet away from this.